what is up guys, Karma Medic here, and welcome back to another dose. If you're new to the channel, then hi, my name is Nasser, and I'm now a fourth year medical student studying at King's College London. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how listening to audiobooks and reading books in general has completely changed my life. It's completely shifted my focus and my thinking, my perspective on a whole variety of topics. And I wanna share that experience with you guys so that hopefully if you're like me and you used to not read at all when you were younger, you'll change your mind about that and start reading more. A little bit of background about me. I used to never read books as a child. And when I say never, I mean never. If we ever got assigned a book to read for English class when I was in high school, I would put it off and it was at the very bottom of my priority list. If I had homework for maths, physics, chemistry, you name it, I would get it done as soon as possible. But being asked to sit down and read a book for me just had so much like activation energy in order to do that task. I did not want to do it. I did not find it fun. And I thought it was a complete waste of time. I actually didn't read a single book for fun or for pleasure until I was about 21 years old. This is towards the end of my degree in Canada studying immunology, biotechnology, and molecular biology. And I think the reasons that I didn't enjoy reading when I was younger are threefold. Stimulation, visualization, and sensation. So as a child, when you're a kid, and if you were anything like me, you would just be bouncing off the walls with so much energy, constantly moving from one activity to another, constantly bored. You do something for a little bit of time, get bored, move on to the next thing, get bored, move on to the next thing. And so sitting down to read a book, provided almost zero stimulus for me. In comparison to doing other activities like running around outside with my friends, playing sports, playing video games, watching a movie, you know, these types of activities have infinite stimulus coming into my eyes, picking up all my different senses and, you know, engaging me in the activity. So as a kid wrapping my head around the idea that sitting down in front of this black and white piece of paper where there's no pixels, there's no colors, there's no moving parts, there's no sound, there's no smell, just literally sitting down in front of a black and white piece of paper. It was difficult for me to associate that with some form of entertainment, with something that is fun, something that's exciting, something that, you know, gets me out of bed in the morning. I always thought that if I was gonna sit down and do an activity or dedicate hours of my life towards something, then I would kind of have a, a physical, tangible result from doing that thing. Whereas with reading, you don't really get anything physical or tangible. All the sort of gains or experience or positive value that comes from reading books, you can't really see, you can't feel it. It's all in your head. It's all in your development, in your thinking, in your vocabulary, in your knowledge, in your skills, in your understanding of culture, et cetera, et cetera. It's nothing you can sort of put your hands on and touch and feel. And so as a kid who got really bored really fast and was constantly trying to do one thing to the next to the next, I couldn't see the value in sitting down and reading a book for hours on end and then not having some sort of result or something that I can show as this is what I've done with my time. So the positive gains that you get from reading books, from listening to audiobooks, they're completely invisible, you know? your increased understanding of different cultures, your widening perspective, just general increased knowledge and understanding of different people and different situations. These are things that, you know, it's not like, I don't know how to describe it, but like academic intelligence, it's not something that you can then write on a piece of paper and score out of a hundred on a test. These are invisible skills that are obviously invaluable to developing as a person and things that are going to be very valuable later on in life when it comes to interacting with others and learning about the world and blah, 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 going to university. As a kid, I couldn't see that at all. And then the last reason is definitely a bit of a strange one and very personalized to me, which is that I really, really, really do not like the sensation of feeling a book like the old paper books. I'm not talking about textbooks that are like laminated and shiny. I'm talking about like an, a book that you would buy at like the bookstore or the library. You know what I'm talking about? Like with the paper pages, I, that feeling of that paper in my hands just feels so strange to me, similar to how I eat different textures and I find them whipped cream or foam or toothpaste, those types of things and make me feel very strange when I eat them. I have that same sensation when I hold a physical book <laughs> and as stupid as it sounds, as a kid, I feel like that really put me off from reading, that really put me off from sitting down to hold this thing in my hands. So to make a very long story short, I hated reading as a kid. I did not enjoy books one bit and I just could not see the value. I could not understand the value that could come from reading a book, building out these worlds and imaginative play, creative thinking, and all of these invisible, intangible skills that I would gain. 
And now I want to shift to talk about why I love reading, sort of what's changed over the last couple of years that's made me fall in love with this idea of listening to something and building out these imaginative worlds in my head, and how it's sort of been able to make me feel and process my emotions in a way that no other form of entertainment or media can do for me. I would love to hear your personal book recommendations. I'm open to absolutely anything, fiction, nonfiction. I want to broaden my horizons of reading as much as possible. So please let me know your favorite books in the comment down below, and I'll get around to reading them eventually. Eventually. So I think my love for reading started a couple of years ago when I moved to London for medical school and I suddenly found myself having upwards of an hour, an hour and a half of commuting time every single day moving to the hospital or to university. So during this commute time, I would either be staring at an underground tube, which is obviously really, really boring and soul crushing, or listening to music, which is fun for a while, but you know, you're obviously going to get bored of that after some time. Even if I wanted to do some studying by pulling out a textbook or an iPad, there's literally not enough space on the underground when you're commuting in the morning and in the, in the evening, you're literally like this, like a sardine just packed in between a whole bunch of people. There's just no way to get it done. And I just couldn't come to grips with the fact that I was going to be wasting three hours of my life every single day commuting to and from somewhere without doing anything useful, without bettering myself, without doing something productive. And I started off with nonfiction books because, you know, that's sort of the background that I came from. And I wanted to be able to read a book or listen to a book and then have sort of takeaways where I know, okay, this is what I learned from reading this book. I have X, Y, and Z, and this is something tangible that I can take away from this experience of listening to a book. I honestly enjoyed that so much. I read a whole bunch of autobiographies for Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, uh, Phil Knight, the CEO of Nike, or co-founder of Nike was CEO, something like that. And then as time went on and on, and I listened to all kinds of different books, I started listening to fiction as well, one or two fiction books. I'm still, I'm getting better at it, but I've, I've really enjoyed the fiction uh, fiction books too. And through the listening of these audiobooks, when I tell you that my eyes were opened seemingly for the first time in my life, and I was exposed to this world of books and listening to books, and all this knowledge that I could gain from this new form of entertainment. I was amazed. It's it's almost like discovering a new form of entertainment. So it's, it's as if you've never watched movies before in your life, and then you start watching movies, or you've never played video games before in your life, and then you start playing video games. It just opened up this entire world of a way to entertain myself and learn something and be productive in my life. So I'm personally a big, big fan of video games. I've been playing video games my whole life, starting on, you know, the Game Boy Advances, the Game Boy, uh, what was it, SP, I think it was? No, the Game Boy Color, that's what it was before the flip screen. Uh, Playstations, Xboxes, you name it. I've been playing video games my whole life and I absolutely love them. And they are a form of entertainment, a way of passing time that is unlike anything else in this world. When you try to explain to someone who's never played video games or never gotten into video games, what it's like to control the character in a movie or in a story that's on your screen. It's impossible, you just, you just kind of have to do it. And so that's what I discovered with books is that it's this entire different form of entertainment that you cannot get from anything else. And I've discussed this at length on my podcast, The Karma Cast, which if you're not subscribed to already, you should definitely subscribe to and listen to. But anyways, this is something that took me a long time to figure out and to realize about books is that they give you sort of 20% of the story. They just give you black and white, words on a piece of paper, literally, and you have to build out the remaining 80%. You have to put in the effort of the thinking and the creativity of imagining what this world looks like and what the reader is trying to get you to feel and to imagine. It's incredible. It's something that no other form of entertainment forces you to do. Listening to podcasts, listening to music, watching movies, playing video games, those are all sort of things are being thrown at you and you are digesting them. Whereas a book is they give you the ingredients and then you have to go and bake the cake. You get what I'm saying? And for that, I appreciate books so much more because books respect you as someone who's digesting that content. They respect you that you are going to fill in the gaps and you are going to imagine and you are going to create the world that they are sort of seeding to you. Now, I love audiobooks for a lot of reasons, but the main one is that they've allowed me to explore and enjoy this whole realm of books and reading while doing things that I would normally be doing anyways. For example, when I'm commuting, when I'm on a run, when I'm walking around the city, I can be listening to an audiobook and gaining knowledge and gaining information and entertainment at the same time, which is literally incredible. It's, it's sort of, it feels like a cheat code that I've unlocked in life and that I just didn't know about before. It's amazing. It just sounds too good to be true. You know, if I was reading a physical book, I would have to be sat down somewhere on a couch or at a desk on a chair and literally immobile. I would just have to be sitting there looking at this one thing. Whereas with audiobooks, I can gain the same value from that while also moving around or running or doing some other activity, which is just incredible. I cannot stress how much of a 
beneficial thing this has been in my life, how much value I derive from being able to listen to books while moving around and doing other things. Now, that's not to say that you should always be moving around because some of the best times I've had listening to books are when I get a coffee and I go to the park and I sit on a bench and I just sit there and take in my surroundings and people watch while listening to a book. I mean, oh my, oh my God, the entertainment and the serenity and the happiness, the zen that I get from that experience is unmatched. I there's nothing else in this life that I do that gives me the same feeling as that. The second thing that I love about audiobooks is that I can listen to things at two times speed which is amazing because I consume most of my content at two times speed anyway. All the lectures I've ever had at university or in medical school, I've listened to at two times speed because most people talk way too slow and I can be digesting the same amount of information in half the time. And so that's why I always play things on two times speed. Now, sometimes I'm listening to a book and two times speed is too fast for me. I'm not able to understand and comprehend everything that's going on. And so I'll slow down to one and a half or 1.75 times speed. You know, not to say that two times speed is like this golden rule that you always have to follow. And the third thing that I enjoy about audiobooks is that it's a didactic experience. The book is talking to me. I'm not going through the actual physical effort of reading the book and processing the words on a page. I'm just sitting back relaxing and the audiobook is talking to me and I'm just listening to it. So that makes it a little bit more of a passive experience. And I recognize that if it was more of an active experience like reading, it would be a little bit different. I'm just not willing to sit down and read something physically sitting still somewhere. I love the idea that I can listen to something and do other things at the same time. Listening to audiobooks in that way has just been life changing for me. All right, I wanna finish off this video by giving you guys a couple recommendations of books that I've read that I have found incredible that have made me cry or almost cry, almost cry, I should say. All right, so let me just quickly scroll through what's on my phone. So this is the next book that I'm reading. It's about the CEO of Walt Disney. This is the book that I just read, War Doctor, which was unbelievable, unbelievable. It's probably at the top of my list of recommendations for this video read that book. Then we've got Blood Oil, just oh, all these books, just have a look. If any of these sound remotely interesting to you, Google them, just go have a read. The autobiographies that I mentioned before, we have uh, Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, Phil Knight, and also Edward Snowden. Very, very, very good uh, autobiographies. Bad Blood, if you're into science and technology, that's an incredibly great book. Very, very thrilling, keeps you on the edge of your seat. And then Into Thin Air by John Krakauer, hope I'm pronouncing that right. Tells the story of an expedition to Everest that happened, I don't remember the date, but several years ago, where I think 13 people died on the same day. And there's a couple movies about it, there's some documentaries about it. All right, guys, and that brings us to the end of the video. If I can close this video on one thing, it is to reach out to anyone who was like me when I was younger and thought that books were a waste of time and they were useless and they were not fun and they were not entertaining. I'm talking to you. Please, please, please try reading, give it a go. Think of any topic you like and just start there. It's definitely made me so much happier, genuinely, and allowed me to get in touch with my emotions. I didn't even talk about that in this video. It's incredible, just, just trust me on this, start reading. And all right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. And if you don't already read, I hope this video has convinced you to start reading. And if you do already read, well then I guess you know everything that I've already said and happy reading. All right, that is it for me. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.